If it comes in a blue box, does that mean it's good? It's been 50-50 so far. 50-50. Let's see if we can get over that. Hey, that's Hall of Fame numbers in baseball. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to review the Heaven Hill 18-year Heritage Collection. Yeah, so we were very fortunate. We were able to get this in all places, Seymour, Indiana. Seymour. It's a good place. Uh, about, a, about a week ago, we got this from a place uh, called Vicks Liquors. Liquor? Vicks Liquor Store. Yeah. In Seymour, Indiana. They were awesome. They hosted our uh, VIP event that we were a part of yeah. with a whole another thing. We'll have a video coming out on that yeah. uh, here in a little bit. Um, but it was super awesome because everything that we're hearing about this bottle is there's not a lot of it going around. We've heard rumors of this state getting six cases, this state getting seven cases. I don't know if any of that's true, but the point is like hearing that there is not a lot right. out there as of right now. So there's always the chance that Heaven Hill is going to open the gates and sure. there's going to be like, <sighs> yeah, thousand percent. With that being said, obviously we jumped on on the opportunity to get it. We are very grateful uh, for Vic, so thank you very much for uh, helping us out with that one. Yeah. Before we get started, do us a favor, hit the like, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and uh, help us out here. Yeah, so the Heaven Hill Heritage 18 year, uh, this is a kind of a competitor release to BTAC, basically. They don't have, you know, all the expressions that come out, but yeah. first one was 17 year, gorgeous, beautiful, Finished second, but it was like a second 1A for us uh, a couple years ago. They came out 20 year, not our favorite. No, 20 year was not our favorite. Not, not our fave. It's okay. It's all it right. Was, it wasn't terrible, but it was not our favorite. It was not our fave. This is the new 18 year. This is 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley, uh, 120 proof, which I love that proof. Yeah, proof, always good. Price is $300. So, keeping with the trend of very expensive bourbon <laughs> in yep. 2024. The sacrifices we make for the channel. Yep. Uh, I'm super excited for this because Heaven Hill is has went to a lottery system uh, for their events. So they, it's, they sure have. Uh, <laughs> As a matter of fact, they got into one and then didn't get into one. <laughs> it's very interesting. Yep. Um, I'm probably never going to see a lottery event again. Ooh, that actually smells a lot better than what I had before. Um, can you please turn that off? It's nothing there. <laughs> Pay no attention to it. Of course he has a phone going off. Uh, it was actually just my watch. So, smartwatch, phone. So I am very excited because I was worried that we weren't going to get one of these this year. Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean. You, to review, that is. Yeah, you, you take the chance to, with, this, with the, the lottery system they're doing for events. And I'm sure at some point, I'm guessing that they'll do they'll just release these at some time. But that's just, I mean, you're at the mercy of what days they want to do it. And if you're lucky enough, it's it's um, so random. If you're not one that camps, you know, or doesn't camp out, but doesn't get there early every morning just mm -hmm. to wait and see what they're having, you're at the mercy of the Facebook page that says, "What does Heaven Hill have today?" And <laughs> yeah. if you're close enough and you happen to be in the area, maybe you're lucky enough to get something. Somebody is normally close Some, enough. Yeah, sometimes it is. It happens every once in a while. All right. So 2015. If I if I don't get stuck behind somebody slow. Graham cracker. I that cherry man again. We have been trying things with a lot of cherry here. Lately. It really. It really has, man. It's just like maybe it's that higher, maybe it's that higher age statement that brings out a lot of uh, cherry notes. Yeah, but this one's actually like like a cherry fruit, not like an artificial cherry. No, yeah, no, it's it's a different like uh, like it was almost like a cherry on like a ice cream sundae or something. Yeah, yeah, syrup, maple syrup. Again, a lot of like. Artificial, like kind of like candy sweet, really nice, really welcoming. Really enjoy the nose. Yeah, I do like the nose for sure. A little bit of like a root, like a like a root beer float. A mm. W root beer. 
Yeah, there's a sweet there's a sweetness on that nose that just is very welcoming. Ton of oak profile on that. Ton of oak. Just an absolute metric ton of Heaven Hill oak. Yep. And a little bit of Heaven Hill funk mixed in with that. Mm -hmm. It's hard to describe what Heaven Hill. Uh, I was having this conversation with somebody totally random the other day. But Heaven Hill 17, the William Heaven Hill 15, and then going back to the William Heaven Hill 17 year, I feel like you get a lot of different oak notes in that. Yeah. But at the same time, the 15 year, the William Heaven Hill 15 year oak is like almost perfect. Yes. Um, I just had some the other day. They're all very similar. They very are similar. similar. Yeah. And you see where they're all either siblings or cousins. Yes. That is part of that oak profile. With that being said, I really like it. I really enjoy it. I know you do as well. I know that's going to turn some people off. Because if you're just not an oak fan, you're just not an oak fan. But I really dig that. It's almost a little bit more charry oak, too, yes. than normal. Most of the time, it's not charry oak from Heaven Oak, but that that's pretty close. And it feels like it's all on the front end, too. Like mm -hmm. It hits you right at the front of the palate as, as you're drinking it. And then <clears throat> in the finish, you still get the oak finish in there. Um, there's a little bit of leathery kind of stuff to it. Yeah, I agree with the leather. There's also like a smidge of like a green grape. Hmm. It's a little, it's not, but let me tell you back. It's a little bit of a green grape, but it's not like the sour portion of a green grape. I can see that. Little I can smoky. See what you're yeah. It's just like, it's, it's very rich, powerful screaming of a traditional Heaven Hill kind of profile. Like if you really like Heaven Hill, I think you're going to really enjoy slash love this. I think it's in your face. Yeah. Like that, that's what I would say this 18 years. In, mm -hmm. Like it, it kind of is in your face. Whereas like the 17 year, it was very oaky and very, you know, but it was really smooth and really what I would say a calm kind of lazy drink. Not <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it lazy, but I'm just saying, like, if you're just ch like a like a real chill drink. Oh, I see what you're you saying. You know, like you're just it was relaxed. Yeah, it was really relaxed. This is more like bold and kind of in your face in in good ways. Like, I actually like this a lot. I mean, yeah. I'm I'm be honest with you, really good oak spice. I've not that. heard great things about this, but I actually kind of enjoy this a whole lot. So. I really, okay, so I've had this, I've had some, so I actually waited a long time before I opened it. I only opened yeah. it last night. Um, I did have it on our adventure day I had with like mm -hmm. Tim and Brent and, and Brian was there, Ethan was there, a couple other guys. And I kind of, so whenever I tried it, I, I think to, to myself, this bottle was made to compete with BTAC. So I put it on that tier and maybe I shouldn't because I don't think it's on that tier, but I think it's still really good. I think it's like, I, like, I think it's like really, really good. I don't know if it's better than it. it in my opinion, it's not better than the heaven Hill 17 year. Mm -mm. It's not better than the William heaven Hill 15 year. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of on par with the William heaven Hill 17 year right now for me. Yeah. With that said, I want to be fair to, I think the finish is like, it lingers, uh, which I it like. does, but I think it, it, but it, so here's what it reminds me of with that William have no 17 year that lingered as well. That's why I think there's some similarities with it. Yeah. But going back to the heaven Hill 17 year, I remember when I first tried it thinking it's good, not great. And then it just, it kept getting better and yeah. better and better and better. It opened up more. It got way better. I'm curious to see what this is going to do. I'm going to love to reapproach this yeah. towards the Toward, end of the year. Yeah, towards the end of the year. Because I, I think this deserves to at least be in our end of the year discussion oh, right now. Be. I mean, look, I mean, 
there ain't no way this this is really good i cannot i mean i hope that we have 20 better bottles than this because if we do that's it's awesome. a great year but yeah i mean it's it's crazy stupid but like right now i'm gonna be fascinated how this does at the end of the year because it could be it could be phenomenal it could be great right now though here's the only thing i, I and it's not fair to this but the only thing i can think of is for what this is going for on the secondary and what this is trading for I'd rather have a Heaven Hill 17 here. Yes. Yeah. 100%. And that's the one little blockage I have with it. Because this is really good. It's almost in a weird way, kind of like Heaven Hill 17 here. Talking about another bottle. That was a top 10 bottle for us last year. And I always say, I'd rather have another 15 here. Yes. And for at one point in time, you get almost two. Yeah. So, for that trade. Well, and it's, a, yeah, and it's the same thing. It's, mm -hmm. would, would you, the, for the secondary price of the, se William, the William Heaven Hill 17, I would just rather pay two hundred dollars less and get the William Heaven Hill fifteen. Yeah, which is still floating around there because they yeah. made a bunch of it. Yeah, and uh, still really good, still all that good stuff. But yeah, so all in all, that's good, man. I I, 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 I think this it. is really good. Yeah, I think if you are somebody who really like, if Heaven Hill is your jam, I think this screams Heaven Hill yeah. to the hilltops. Yeah. I think it's really really good. I think the only thing to me that puts it back it's not really fair is that if you could have the 17 year or the 18 year i want the 17. yeah and right now they're kind of trading for around the same so that's how i, I just if they're trading for the same go for the 17 because they're not going to be around <laughs> much forever. forever even though let me say this i don't know how many 18 years they yeah. have i think because i think we got one of seven I mean, I'm I'm telling you guys, like, I like to think the information that I hear is pretty good. Yeah. And that you hear is pretty good. Yeah. And we're being told in Indiana, there was like seven cases, eight cases. Yeah. Kentucky, there's like five to six cases. Yeah. Now, I can't imagine that Heaven Hill is not going to get more outside of that. But, like, we're just hearing that there's literally just not a lot of them. Yeah. So. All right. Well, happy hunting with this one. And uh, till the next time. We'll see you. We'll see you.